Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Charterman, Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Greedy comics, toys are hella sick Hell whackin' it, take a bad hit Take a bad hit, Charterman Subscribe for more Hey, Sparty Boy! Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Select action figure review on the Diamond Select Toys Black Panther movies, Black Panther. If you're trying to pick up your Marvel Select figures, you can do so at Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I did pick this up at my local comic book shop, Coastside Comics. If you're on the coast, you want comics, yeah, you go to Coastside Comics. Uh, it does feel a little light. Now, it doesn't look like there's not much of a base back there. But anyway, you can see an image of Black Panther. You got the eyes showing. You can do that. And then on the very back, we get another image of Black Panther. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. We get the A4 Avengers. And then nothing on the side or the bottom or on the top. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Black Panther figure out of the packaging. Uh, not looking too bad aesthetics wise. It's not a bad looking piece as you can clearly see. There's a lot of sculpted detail and I do like the silver paint apps that we're seeing on this figure for the most part. I think it looks pretty clean. So there's some good stuff about this figure but I do have a list of complaints. Uh, first off with the base that comes with the figure. So yeah let's get a closer look at that and then we'll get a closer look at Black Panther. So here's looking at the base and just the size of this thing is just very disappointing. It only stands just shorter than four and a half inches tall. I mean, that's ridiculous. And it doesn't have any pegs that stick out that you could plug into the bottom of the feet of Black Panther. I mean, showing it next to the figure right there, you can see how tall that is. And it's sloped right over here, so you can't really get him just standing on it. It's just, I don't know. I mean, you can get him to stand on it, but he's got to lean in a certain kind of way. I do like the paint apps over here, though. I do like the little touches of glowing vibranium through the rock and everything. You can see some purple over the black, so I think that's cool. Has this nice shiny obsidian kind of look to the rock and I really like that a lot. So that's pretty nifty. And then you get this uh, Wakandan wall right over here. It looks like it's made out of vibranium. I do like the shade, you know, we're getting a little bit of black mixed in here. So that's pretty nifty. Nice clean paint apps for these, I guess, little window pieces. Uh, nothing on the back and, and it's just totally empty at the bottom. But yeah, I mean, this doesn't look terrible. It's just way too small and no pegs or anything. This could have been a lot cooler. I would have preferred that whole Black Panther sculpture that you see, you know, that would have been really cool to pose this figure with, but no, nah, we got this instead. So here's looking at the head sculpt and for the most part, I do like it. I think it's a pretty good looking head sculpt. I think we're getting some nice details in here, especially look on the side. You can see the little lines sculpted right there on the inside of the ear. I think that looks pretty cool. Some more textured details right here at the top. I don't like the silver paint right here though. It's supposed to go across the nose, not underneath the nose though. So that bothers me some uh, comparing it to the Marvel Legend version right there. You can see that. Something about the eyes that kind of throw me off on this one. I don't know. But uh, I think they're both pretty good looking head sculpts. Something about this one that I really like though. And I really like the details that we're getting right over here. I mean, nice looking chain going on. I like that. Looks really cool. And you can see the texturing throughout on the figure. And I really like how they got this glossy black paint in some of these uh, sculpted in sections that we're seeing throughout on this. You know, you can see all these different lines sculpted in there. I really like that combination of that really glossy black mixed in with the matted black. Like right here, that looks awesome. I really dig that. And throughout on the torso. I like how we don't get the man's ear lines, you know, coming through to the front. Seinfeld reference for you older fellas or ladies out there. I know the ladies that watch the show is prime, don't you ladies? Ladies? No? Oh, none of you? Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, well. And then you can see some nice silver paint right there. And we get some silver nails. Uh, you get two sets of interchangeable hands with this figure. So you can see that we get the clawing hands. We also get one on the left side. So you can see that. You know, they're pointy but not too sharp. And you also get two fisted hands. And I have a fist on the left side right there. Again, we're getting that glossy black paint. I really like how these silver spikes came out on this guy. Uh, a little splotchy right there. And then looking at the lower torso, it looks pretty good. You know, you get Black Panther butt, and it looks, oh, I thought for a second we are getting uh, some tan, but it was just reflecting my skin color onto the figure. But there's a Black Panther butt, Black Panther thighs, again, I just love seeing that glossy black mixed in there. That looks really cool to me, adds real depth to the figure, you know, definitely a highlight on this piece for me. I really like the sculpting right over here too. I think that looks pretty good. Then he's looking at the bottom of the feet and he does have peg holes, but nothing to port them into. And then you can see those Black Panther toes. Yeah, nice looking Black Panther toes. I like that. 
And I also really like the sculpt from a little farther away too. I do feel like the thighs are a little on the long side. I don't know. But anyway, as far as articulation goes, uh, you can barely move the head upward. You'll look uh, just, I guess, tilting up just the tiniest bit. And then you can look down quite a bit. You get side to side motion and you do get some good head tilting. Uh, you can move the shoulders outward that far and you can move them down all the way. That's pretty cool. And you could rotate 360. Uh, on this side, we get a bicep swivel. On this side, we get a bicep swivel and you can pop it off. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. This is very frustrating. Uh, that that really kind of, yeah, that's frustrating as hell for me. Yeah. We do get double jointed elbows, so that's pretty cool, and they bend in all the way. All four of the hands rotate at the wrist, and they all hinge up and down. Thought I already broke that joint in, but you can see it moving up and down right there. Uh, you also get a diaphragm joint turned side to side. It does pivot at the diaphragm. Doesn't really crunch forward at all. Nope, doesn't crunch forward at all whatsoever. It does move back the tiniest bit. And then you get hip joints that move all the way outward that Far. I guess I can get the left side moving up more so, I guess due to the poses that I got him in. So uh, you can get him kicking forward just that much and back that far. Uh, mid thigh cut, double jointed knees. I don't know how much I like these joints, man. I feel like this is just a little bit too much extra plastic or something, but you do get a nice bend, but then it just looks really weird. So I, I don't know, man, it, it looks a little strange. And then you can get the ankles moving downward. And again, the hinges on the joints are, are really weird. You get this extra bit of plastic and then you can move the ankle upward and you do get ankle pivot. Now measuring out the height of this Black Panther figure, you can see that he's standing just a little over seven inches tall. And then for your Marvel Select Black Panther comparison, we have the MCU version next to the comic book version and they're at about the same height. Comic book version is a little bit taller. I gotta say between the two of these, I actually like this figure more. And then for your MCU Marvel Select comparison, you can see that we have Doctor Strange and Captain America from Captain America Civil War. And I think these scale all right together. They look pretty good. And then for your Black Panther comparison, you can see the Marvel Legend version next to the Marvel Select version. And yeah, you can see that he has the man's ear or the bro thing going on. We don't see that over here. Uh, I did see lines going across the chest in the movie, but they weren't that prominent, and I don't think they're right through the middle like that. So I'm happy to see them kind of just disregard those all together. It just makes the piece look a whole lot better to me. This isn't a horrible Marvel Legend. It's just not my favorite Marvel Legend Black Panther figure. Then here's the Marvel Select Black Panther figure. Next to your average six inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos all the way from the beginning to the end. It really does help this YouTube channel even if it doesn't have stop motion in it. I know this is the second video in a row without the stop motion but I've just had a lot on my plate lately but I will do some stop motion soon. It's coming back don't worry. Anyway I also appreciate it when you guys hit that like button as well as leave your comments down below and if you have not subscribed yet please go ahead and do so as well as hit that notification bell. I like some things about this figure, I can get him into some dynamic poses. I kind of like this pose right over here. I think this is pretty cool. So I can get the figure to do some stuff, but uh, not all the poses that I really want to get him in. And I do like the sculpt and paint apps. I mean, that's really supposed to be the high point for Marvel Select figures. And I do think that we do get good sculpt and paint apps, but they didn't just nail it. I don't know. The, the thighs seem a little bit on the long side. Uh, the paint on the mask isn't really accurate. So I'm giving this a sudden rating of meh. And then there's that little base too. So yeah, there's kind of uh, a lot of things here where I feel like Diamond missed the mark, you know, but not a horrible piece. There are definitely things that I do like about it, as I had mentioned throughout the video. Thanks again for watching the video. And again, hit that like button if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more Shardmas Prime videos coming your way. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it should be over at MarvelousNews.com and ShardmasPrime.net. And don't forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.